and welcome to Crafting Captain. Today is my first day in Minecraft, um, at least in a video. So we are making a creative world. You can do this in survival because the materials we're going to be needing for this project are pretty easy to get. So let's go into the world. Okay, so today we are going to be making a quick and easy starter home. And this starter home isn't going to be like a dirt hut, because you want it to be aesthetically pleasing. At least, I want to. So, what we're going to be needing is to make a plot. But first, let's grab some oak planks, some cobblestone, and some cobblestone stairs, mossy cobblestone, and mossy cobblestone stairs. Let's start out by breaking our plot. You can make it as big or as small as you want to, it depends on your house. Okay, now we're gonna fill in this whole area with some oak planks. Let's get started. Alright, we're all done now, so we're going to place in the middle two blocks like this. That is going to be your doorway. Then we're going to build around one block around the whole floor. Let's get started. Now we've got that all done, now we're going to build the frame of the doorway. Just build two blocks off of the blocks we made put down at the beginning, and there's your doorway. Now we're going to level everything out, and then the sort of base of your house will be almost finished. The fastest way I think to do this is to place two blocks at a time, not do um, rings around it each time, twice, if that makes sense. Now for the kind of tricky part. Place one block up high on one side. Then you're going to sort of do this like a pyramid. And then you're going to go up, place one block. and then. We're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. Okay, now uh, we don't want it to rain in here, so we're gonna start on the roof after we level it out. We're just gonna place one block next to the bottom block of the roof pyramid. Then, you're going to grab your stairs, mossy cobble, and place a couple like this. Then, you're going to fill the rest in with regular cobblestone stairs. After that, you're going to place the stairs like this. And I think you get the gist after that. It's kind of hard doing it at this point because there's nothing underneath the stairs, but once you got it a couple times, it's easier. And when you're in survival, I suggest putting things under it and then breaking it later because it's easier because you can't fly in survival. 
Now we're going to replace a couple of those blocks with mossy cobble. Alright, do that again, and we're almost finished with the roof. Okay, this is what it looks like now. Now we're going to get our regular block, and this took me a couple tries. All right, now we're gonna place them like this. So it looks like this. Now we're going to do that on the other side. The power of editing magic, voila, it's finished. We're going to replace a couple with mossy cobble stairs. So it looks kind of overgrown. Then we're going to place the regular blocks, replace them with some mossy cobble, not all of them. Now it's, people and zombies can just sort of walk in. So we're going to put a door there. This door is the best to use. Okay, now people can't see through the walls, so we're going to have to make them some windows. You're gonna grab your glass pane, not the glass block because it's not what real windows are made of. So you're gonna do that on the other side. And then we're going to get some trap doors after I struggle here and try and use a real door. So we're gonna get a trap door and then we're going to place it like that. Then we're gonna close it. Do that on the other side. Those are shutters. Then we're gonna do it on the other side. There, isn't that cute? Now, with the power of editing magic, there are going to be windows on these sides. Let's get started. for the other side. Just like that. Get the glass again. And then we are going to change it today. And I think we should start decorating the outside. So I'm going to grab some coarse dirt, which I forgot how to spell, <laughs> and break the blocks next to the door, just like this. And then we're gonna replace it with the coarse dirt. flowers I picked a tulip and the reason we use coarse dirt is because um, if you use regular dirt then it will turn to grass later I'm going to break every other tulip and replace it with another color. I think I'm going to use the white one. Now, I'm 
going to get a shovel so I can make a pathway in front of the house. Almost done. There we go. Alright, now I think it should be time to work on the interior of the build. As you can see, it's very empty in here. And it's only one floor. So, we're going to make an extra floor. Place the stair blocks like this. Then do another layer. One less. Then do that. Then we're going to break these blocks. And we got some stairs. You can put a door like that so it looks like Harry Potter kind of. And place a mossy cobble block next to the door. And we're gonna go up here and start building the floor. With the power of editing magic, it will be done. There we go. We've got that floor finished, except it's only two blocks high, which is okay. Now, we'll start decorating the interior. For this floor, I'm making it a chest room. Put chests on this side. And I made the mistake of putting chests there. And I thought I couldn't open chests here because it's stone, but since it's stairs, apparently I can open it. Oops, I fell. Nah. Now I'm going to make a TV by placing a couple blocks of glass. There we go. Now you're going to grab some fence. to use nether brick which is harder to um, obtain in survival mode so you can just use like spruce or something then we're going to place some wood stairs like as a chair and crouch to look like you're sitting now we're going to place some windows like this try not to actually put it in front of the wall. I know it's crowded but it's a starter home, so that's okay. Place some tulips in the flower pots that you place. Now, I cleared out my inventory. I think we're done with the house. Um, maybe later, after I place my bed here, I can put some farming in, maybe? And, let's take a rest. Apparently it's not night yet. Just wait a second, and... Okay, now we can do this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you um, succeeded on making your build. I had a lot of fun with this, and you can decorate it any way you want. It's super fun and easy to do, and um, for super duper beginners, I will try and make a part two for a way easier house to do and with easier things to obtain. If you don't yet have a pickaxe, you should probably make that. 
and this is the farm that I made. Um, I hope you like it. There's chickens, and horse. There's a bunch of horses that go around it. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.